Welcome to another episode of Blake Clan Health and Fitness. I'm Brian. This is Dave. And we research it so you don't got them. Whoop whoop! So recently we've come across a lot of talk about intermittent fasting. I assigned Dave to put in some research and tell us about how this new fitness trend works. Word. Alright, intermittent fasting is where you fast. All intermittently and shit. Like where you stop eating. Thanks for watching another episode of Blade Clan Health and Fitness. We re wait, wait, wait. I thought you said you did research, exhaustive research. Uh, yeah, about that, dog. I mean, I, I kind of spaced on all the shit I read. You're supposed to write a script. I don't read the script. The script reads me. What's that even mean? All right, fine. I think I know how to fix this. Whoa, 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 B, you know I can't drink that shit. Last time we used that stuff, we was burying hookers for a week. I know, I know, but this time, I'm gonna use the taser on him as soon as he's done talking. Dude, you know this ain't right, B. We, we can't do this shit. You know, you're right. It's too dangerous. Here's something else to drink as an apology. Oh yeah, it's all good, homie. Oh, oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh shit, not again. Come on. Ugh. 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 You okay over there? Oh. Ugh, laddie. That better be a good reason why I've been gone so damn long. Well, we needed to fill out our viewers in on intermittent fasting. We needed the best scientific mind. So you dragged me out here and all the... Oh my god! How did I get so fucking fat?! You, you were supposed to be watching him! Oh, has he been eating this food from a bucket?! Oh, I can't fucking believe you... Yeah, it's been a... Rough couple of decades or so. Is me Willy even still here? I can't see it past all this stomach. Oh, I'll see you both dead for this. Uh, that's gonna be hard to do since you're him. We don't have time for dramatics. Could you just tell us about intermittent fasting so we can get back to Dave's weight problem? I... Oh. All right. Here we go then. Let's start by de defining the term fasting. To fast is to stop eating. I know you're familiar with this principle. You might want to let Lardo know about it once in a while. Everybody does it, except this wanker here apparently. When do you stop eating at the end of the day? 
Well, I have a protein shake around 11 p.m. Right! <laughs> and you eat your breakfast around when? Around noon after... So! That puts you on a 13 by 11 fasting schedule. You spend 11 hours eating and 13 hours fasting. So we all have a fasting schedule. The idea behind intermittent fasting is to make the most of your personal eating schedule. The hype and theory is that by fasting longer and doing all your exercise while you're fasting, it forces your body to eat up a bit of its own fat reserves. The body can go for 48 hours or so without any food before it decides your muscle tissue is more appetizing. So the fasting program just expands on our own natural eating schedule. I learned. There are many different fasting programs, some lasting days or even a week. Now, in reviewing all of Lardo's uh, research, I was able to piece together some basic ideas. Really, this program is not a substitute for a good diet and exercise plan. It does help trim pounds, but it more works for people that have less overall body fat. Someone like yourself, for example, would do well on this program. It'll help cut down those last few pecky body fat percentage points. But for folks like Tubby here, it won't do too much. Wow. That was really informative. I guess you really did do all the reading. I he did. And I know everything he knows. Another helpful benefit of fasting is in learning to manage your hunger. I'm sure we all know someone, maybe a particular fat nutter, who insists that if they don't eat right away, they'll just curl up and die. Now, our bodies are meant to react to hunger so that we'll be encouraged to eat and stay alive. Of course, that was then and this is now. So here, in our modern age, where we don't have to spend all our time hunting and gathering and picking berries, we've become a bit spoiled. Some of us more than others. So fasting is a very good way to learn to manage hunger as well, as it shows how resilient the body can be on its own, and lets you know that you can survive if you miss a meal or two. Try to make sure he doesn't faint when you tell him that. But it's not going to magically make you thin. No, it won't at that. If anything, a well-balanced and well-timed plan of eating smaller portions throughout the course of the day will promote better weight loss returns in a big sack of potatoes like our friend here. So is that everything Dave read about? Oh aye, that was everything. Don't look so shocked. I know everything he knows, and I've got an eidetic memory to boot. Now be a pal and hand me that little toy you got there. Where did you even get that from? Never you mind. Now hand over to the shocker or I'll toast you like a Vegemite sandwich. Vegemite sandwich. Oh, hi. That's a pretty thing. Uh, now I know this won't last forever, but it'll last long enough for me to get out of this lard-encrusted body. Nighty-night, lad.